Yo guys, um, I am here today at RAF Molesworth. At the moment I'm in the Peace Garden. I walked through uh, an open gate over there. There were no signs saying, uh, you know, un no unauthorised access or private property or anything. It does say that it's uh, owned and controlled by RAF Molesworth. But yeah, this used to be an airbase um, during World War II. And it's now a base used for the US Air Force. But, so this is uh, the other gate, which is where you drive into. So I'm just going to go check any signage that may be on that one that's not on the other. That's quite interesting. So obviously because it's a US air base, I've got a sign on the way out reminding them to drive on the left. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I wonder how they drive on site, if they drive on the left or on the right. If we get any cars going by, by then we will find out. Oh, we've got a pheasant running through there. Chasing a rabbit, <laughs> having a racer at the opposite side of the fence. The rabbit's on the outside of the fence, and the pheasant's on the inside. That's quite funny. That's made me. That's made me chuckle. That's. And uh, so we've got a car coming up behind me. I move out of this way. Yeah, so they do uh, drive on the left on in the base, which is pretty interesting. Uh, So it's a no drone zone, which is cool. Oh, Ministry of Defence, this is a prohibited place within the meanings of the Official Secrets Act. Unauthorised persons entering the area may be arrested and prosecuted. But how does that work when they've got the Peace Garden there? A gate that's open on the side. Obviously for visitors to go and look at the Peace Garden. See, they've got signs on the outside of this fence. So that would be my defence, is that I didn't come through this way. I walked... Uh, I'll show you. I walked down that road and uh, I'll show you where the turning is for it. I went down here, which I will show you. There aren't any signs. That's the whole of that. There's no signs on that side. So, on this side, we've got a sign. Peace Garden dedicated to a world without war. And then, over here, we've got this sign. Try and zoom in. I'm not gonna read it all for you, but uh, it's in focus. So you can pause that and give that a read. And you'll see on there that it doesn't say anything about no unauthorised access or prosecution or anything like that. The only sign we've got on the fence this side is a no drone zone sign. And then a wide open gate leading to the Peace Garden where I started. So how would anybody be expected to know that that is restricted space? That's ridiculous. So I'm gonna stop what I'm doing quickly and uh, read up on the um, Official Secrets Act thing and see what it says. I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah. So yeah, just while I was uh, reading up on that, 
um, obviously sat on that post outside the grounds here. So i just seen this military police vehicle behind me, I heard some radio talk behind me, so I'm just going to turn the camera back on. But from what I could gather, the, um, the only thing that would govern this site is from 1911, and the power of arrest under Section 6 was repealed in 2000 and... Well, I can't remember what I said now, 2000 something, late, late 2000s, um, uh, late naughty, should I say, when they did the um, Serious and Organised Crimes Bill, which covers prohibited sites, it, you know, it's, it's a renewal of. Um, so I should imagine, because this was a site during World War Two that that sign on the exterior there is probably relating to that, um, what do you call it, Legis uh, legislation from 1911, and not to the most recent one. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go... So we've got a second one turn up here, a white one now. So I'm not sure what they're doing, if they're going to come and talk to me or not. Um, but, so he's asking whoever's on the end of his radio if they want him to make contact. Um, he's not too sure. But hopefully they're just going to leave it, I don't know. Yeah, so we've got somebody coming. Yeah. See how it goes. Not too bad, thank you. How are you? Good. Uh, so, there's no recording of our installation. Pardon? Um, you're not allowed to record or take pictures of our installation. Well, what law is that, sir? Um, that is just, as you can see right there. That's a no drone zone. I've already looked at that sign. Uh, this isn't a drone, is it? No, it is not. No. Uh, can you identify yourself for me, please, sir? Yes, I am Senior Airman Stewart with Security Forces. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, uh, what are you doing here? Um, I was just around the area, to be honest. I walked past, saw the site, and uh, saw this walkway in here. I was just explaining to the camera. Um, I saw this walkway, I've gone up. I've seen, obviously, you've got a wide open gate, which is an implied right of access in the UK. I don't know how upset you are with UK laws, so. Oh, no, but no. but that's, a, that's an implied right of access in the UK with an, an open oh, yeah. gate. So there's no signs there. There's that one green one behind you, and that one there. Yes. And there's no signs there saying that it's restricted access, it's illegal to be there, absolutely nothing. Yeah, sure. So you know. You can, I mean, like... So, so you've got the peace, yeah, because you've got the peace guard and everything. But once yeah. you get up to the actual gate, yeah, yeah. you're not allowed to actually make access to the installation. Oh, sure, no. Unless you have... You have to have, like, yeah, yeah, you have to, yeah, yeah, you have to get past, yeah, to get past the security checkpoint. Obviously, I understand you'd have to have... Um, like, uh, yeah, ID to get through. Um, obviously, it's just a vape. I see you keep looking at it. It's just a vape, don't worry. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was just got, like, just saw there's absolutely nothing there. So, so can I, I can go have a look at the Peace Gardens. Uh, just stand by real quick. I'm going to go call my uh, desk real quick and I'll just verify for you. Go for it. Cheers. So he's going to go check. Um, so they're checking all the signs and that now. Yeah, there's nothing on there saying restricted access or anything. I've read all the signs that came up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I read all the signs and as I came up. But... You're right to just uh, identify for me there, sir. You're right to just identify for me there, please. I'm sorry. Can you identify yourself for me, please? Perfect, thank you. We're just wondering, it's like, is there any reason you're here or just taking pictures? Just around the area, really. Just, uh, yeah, it's all an interesting site. Um, so, so we got the Peace Gardens and that there. Well, so it looks like it's uh, the Peace Gardens are there for people to come and look at, you know. Is this the Peace Garden? No, no, no that bit in there with the memorial and stuff by the looks of it. Oh, okay. um, so it looks like that's the Peace Garden for people to come and look at, mm -hmm. hence why the gate's probably open. 
Um, looks like a historical monument, a monument to um, us, our forces during World War II um, that worked out of this base. So obviously it's, it looks like it's there for the public to go look at, and obviously it's an interesting thing. The public are going to want to take pictures of that, you know. Obviously I understand you've got a security checkpoint up there, but obviously I wouldn't be able to get past that. I wouldn't have, I haven't got ID to get past it, you yeah, know. I've never seen this sign before, that's why I'm Yeah, yeah, no worries. Did you walk? Yeah, yeah, I've walked up here. It's a lovely countryside out in England. In England, you got to walk around, you know. So I think this is the peace garden you're talking about. Sorry, man. Yeah, because I don't think there's any peace garden on. That's just on site. a memorial. Oh, so, so the memorial's not there for the public to go look at. No. No. Strange. So why is the gate left wide open and the front gate as well? The front gate is so people can drive on and off base. Sure. Um, the people that are supposed to be authorized on base. Mm -hmm. This is usually because there's a food truck that comes here. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure they forgot to secure that. Yeah, so yeah. So I am contacting my leadership right now just to sure, you know, no make sure everything is yeah. good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Very unclear, isn't it, guys? But, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I literally just uh, I've walked up from that direction. Um, walked probably a good couple of miles up that road. It's quite hot out today as well. And yeah, I've just turned in here, and there's no signage or anything saying you can't. But We have a lot of uh, police on base. I see there's obviously three vehicles there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know how big the base is like, but uh, so we've got one, two, three vehicles there. What side of the road do you drive on on base? Same side as here. Yeah, left, yeah. Yep. How long has this been used for the US uh, RF Air Forces? Uh, I believe since the 70s. Since the 70s, a long time then. That's good, yeah, what, 50 odd years? It's a joint base, so, or it was a joint base. It used to be for the RAF and for our military also. Nice. Are they just Air Forces US here, or do you have like uh, yeah, infantry and whatever? I don't know. I don't know what, you, what sure. your different things are called. I don't know, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Essentially, I'd love to go get a shot of that memorial. Yeah. Are you a YouTuber? Pardon? Are you a YouTuber? Or a I just blogger? go. I just go around really. Just walk around and uh, film what I like to film. Film all sorts of different stuff. Nice. Um, but as I was, yeah, I was just walking around. Like I said, England's got beautiful countryside, so I stopped off a few miles down the road and went for a walk and ended up on a road up here. And I thought, oh. It's interesting. Yeah, they do have a lot of beautiful countryside. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. Not quite. From? Pardon? Where are you from? Oh, I'm from England. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the 80s. <laughs> oh, the 80s is on the sign, is it? Yeah. That was close. <laughs> 1984, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just uh, quickly skim read it just to make sure I wasn't, you know, restricted yeah. or anything. But yeah, no problem. Oh dear. Pardon? Have you ever seen the no. Yeah, so this is considered the Peace Garden. Sure. Yeah, like you mentioned, 
and that's the memorial for the bombardment. Ah, uh, okay. Pretty much from what this sign explains to you. Yeah, yeah. That's what that memorial is for. Public, so. well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it looks completely publicly accessible to me. You know, I don't see why it would be an issue. Uh, obviously, you got your security checkpoint a bit further up, so obviously that's where the security starts. Really, obviously, I see you got the fence and that, but it's all open. It's open, isn't it? So like having a house and leaving your front door wide open. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm good to go have a look? Sure. Yeah, you sweet. Yeah, yeah. What's your name, by the way, if you remind me asking? I prefer not to give out my name. Sorry? I prefer not to give out my name. Cheers. Uh... Cool. So they've got uh, American number plates and that on their cars, which is interesting. Pardon? You're from around here, you said? From England, yeah. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, again, personal questions. I don't like to answer personal questions. Come on, I gave you my name. You can't give me your name. Ah, uh, you have to identify though, don't you? As a, as, a, as a military person. Yeah, of course you do. Give up name. Are you interested in, like, history? Uh, yeah, historical sites yeah. and national sites. All sorts of different things, not really. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the memorial's right here. You don't have to record it. Yeah. Right there. I'm just showing them how far away the uh, security checkpoint is. Is there a reason yeah, for you know. that? Pardon? Is there a reason for that? Of course there is. There's a reason for everything, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know. English humour, you know, just quite dry. Don't mean any offence by it, but yeah, of course, uh, yeah, there's a reason for everything. So, uh, I was just asking because you, you said yeah. you wanted to see the memorial. Oh, yeah, sure, but the memorial, there's, the, there's no reason to do the that ground gate. around it. Well, no, I was just saying because obviously we had the discussion of that gate being open and your security checkpoint being all the way up there okay. and discussion of it being publicly accessible. Mm -hmm. So I was just showing that, you know, how far that is, so how far your security starts, okay. you know, it just kind of makes an interesting point of, you know, why wouldn't this be publicly accessible when your security starts all the way up there? I obviously wouldn't be able to get past it anyway. Um, yeah, it's an interesting site, a lot of uh, greenery. So you never stopped to look at this before? I have. Yeah, you have, yeah. Uh, oh, just that sign over there you hadn't read? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, yeah, we don't need to go up. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Were you born and raised here? Were you here when they had the planes at all or no? I'm not that old. <laughs> I mean, they had planes here, what, like a couple, what, 10, 20 years ago? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I might have been then. Yeah. I thought it meant like back in World War II. Oh, I was like, I'm not that old. Yeah, <laughs> now I've got a few greys and that, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what's these uh, emblems and that on it? So, uh, so this must be the emblem for the divisions. Interesting. Looks a bit like uh, Captain America shield up there, doesn't it? <laughs> the US flag. Yeah, fascinating sight. How long have you guys been posted out here? Uh, as far as today or? Yeah, yeah, like right. Uh, just got on ship a couple hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's alright then. Yeah, so yeah, they do uh, the drive on the left. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just, it's just what's just getting a shot of. They're uh, pretty cool. Oh, that's a nice car. Ooh. Um, but yeah, no, no, they're cool. I like the mascots for the squadrons and that. They're quite funky. I like the Bug, Bugs Bunny one. You can tell how old it is too, just by the design. Yeah, oh yeah. Proper old school sketch, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. I'm surprised they uh, have so many bounce bodies out here. 
<laughs> yeah. But then again, where are we? Just outside Huntingdon, aren't we? So that's well, it's not too far from the channel, so it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, down this end of the country. So it kind of makes sense to have air forces in that base over this side during World War II. Uh, yeah. yeah. You to different sites? All sorts of different sites, yeah. I've never, never been to a military one before. Oh, no? No, I've never been Is to a military, military site. Base? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I like it. So that's the main gate down there. I'll probably walk out that way then. Uh, yeah. Oh, cheers, chaps. Oh, nice flowers. Do you know what that? Uh, see, do you know what that C is on the end of the bench for the triangle? I don't, honestly, I no. don't. Probably has something to do with the memorial, but I'm not sure. Yeah, somebody else might know. I'll uh, ask some questions. I'll get a pan shot of it. Come on, strike a pose, lads. It looks quite good with you guys in the picture as well. Lovely. So I have uh, our public affairs oh, yeah, yeah. number if you would like to call. Uh, you know, just to make sure, you know, everything's good to go. Oh, I'm already here now. <laughs> it's no, too late yeah, for that. No, but, I understand that. But, but if you have any questions you want answered. Yeah, if you want to read it out for me, it'll also be on the camera. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, 01480 843 857. Spot on, mate. Thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate your time, guys. Uh, more flowers than that there. Operation Street Smart, slow down and arrive alive. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, so while they're acting all nice and coy, looks like they've called the British police, but it's still MOD police. Afternoon, how are you doing? Ah, uh, not bad. It's an interesting car. Not seen a car like that before. So on the top, MD. What's, what's MD? Military defence. Oh, Ministry of Defence. He's always been called because the, uh, the Americans here, uh, US Security Forces. I don't know why they called you, they've been nothing but cordial. Yeah, but yeah no, they always call us anything uh, related to the base, they'll, uh, they'll let us know that someone's paying attention to or anything. Fair enough. Where about you come from today? It's a, lot, uh, a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Second. A bit of a personal question. Take a conversation. Yeah, I'm alright. You left to the area? I'm alright, cheers, mate. I don't, I don't want to have a conversation, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, what was the uh, purpose of coming good. in today? Can I just get your ID, please? Yep, follow number there. 4810 and yourself sir 2631 and what station are you from or RF Alconbury pardon RF Alconbury RF Alconbury right. okay cool no worries but yeah that's it cheers guys no worries yeah so there we have it that's uh Shut them down with a quick, uh, I don't want to have a conversation. Not no interest in having a conversation with them. Already, like, the first thing they did was uh, start digging. I'm not interested in having a conversation with people that just want to dig for information. Uh,
So obviously they uh, call the British police because I think on their base is a bit different. Like technically I am on their base, so the uh, base police do actually have power of arrest on here. But as soon as I step off, they you know I don't they don't have power of arrest, even if it's for an arrest of an offence. Whilst I was on theirs, they would still have to call British. And that's a cool bike. Oh, look at that. A lot of people crawling out yeah, there, not yeah, stopping at the stop sign. Can I ask you to leave the Amity property? Public side of the road, is that side of the fence? Pardon? Public Sorry. side, that side of the fence, please. Okay, sure. That, bear in mind, that's the first time I've been asked to leave. They actually invited me on and they said this was a public place. Really? That's all, yeah, it's all no on camera. Worries. But, uh, really but itself, that's the first time I've been asked they to leave. So been nothing but Amity Pool today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a good chat with you. Never saw. Yeah, no, I see. I actually went in the side entrance up there. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, there's no signage there saying you know no restricted access or uh, ministry so obviously a reason to be here this is the line you know public to mod property yeah well uh, that's the thing uh, you know again yeah. gate was open implied right yeah, of access no, no, I pre I appreciate you know that. and also with the memorial site there as well that looks like it's open for the public to go and look at but because of what goes know. on here as soon as they see anyone who be videoing people come in and go in yeah you know they're not going to want that because it's going to obviously alarm people so we're just asking you to move yeah. to this side yeah. which is the bit of a silly place to have, yeah. a bit of a silly place to have a memorial isn't it so like if the public can't go and film and take a picture without alarming people yeah it's just the fact that you are to see you yeah, videoing no. people leaving your site um no problem at all with you being there yeah. but the fact you're videoing people coming and going from here i can do that from here though though i can do that from this side of the gate and, you and know still, but, uh, <laughs> the fact that this is obviously a many property that's all right I you just yeah that's fair you know you've asked me to leave i'll leave well i said it's the first time i was asked to leave so no worries. That's fair enough. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. You too. So, uh, yeah, at that point. Um, I was asked to leave and because it is a Ministry of Defence site I'm not going to push my luck and hang around on site even though it's, um, uh, I was invited on in the first instance Yeah, if they request me to leave, I will leave. Yeah, I see a lot of people not actually stopping at this junction, even though there's a stop sign. So I'll uh, report that to those officers, get these couple of vehicles coming out and see if they stop. This road's actually a 60 mile per hour road as well. But they slow down, slow down, slow down, and crawl out. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, they actually stop, but that's because there's a car coming. Uh, crawling out, not stopping. Officers, can I just ask you a question? Do you have jurisdiction off the site as well? Do you have like powers of a normal PC? Yeah, can I uh, report something to you quickly then? I can't. As I said, uh, two seconds, just going to move his car. I'm guessing he's going to swing around, pull out and talk to me. Slows down, crawls out. Slows down, crawls out. So they actually stop. And uh, 
see if they're going to pull in. Oh, he's going to drive off. How rude. So I've just told them I want to report something to them. And they've driven off down the road. Oh, that's not acting fairly and impartially, is it? Oh, I tell you what, those officers were actually doing all right up until that point. And for that, I am going to report them to the senior officer. So I should imagine what they're going to do now is um, uh, maybe one of the US forces people heard me say that, you know, I stopped down the road or I walked up from that way and I stopped a couple miles down the road. So they're probably on a hunt for my vehicle. Uh, but I actually took my motorbike gear off before I got here and I just left it locked up to my bike because the weather's so nice. That would be fine. Now, the only thing I'm wearing is jeans that I've got pads in, but to uh, a blind eye, it's not really very obvious. It just kind of looks like I'm wearing baggy jeans. So there's no indication that, you know, I've ridden a motorcycle here, so. Hmm. Obviously, played a bit dumb with them when they, uh, first came out. I didn't want to tell them that I'd already been on site, especially after I'd seen the uh, signs here. But given their dues, it was nice of the US forces to allow me to go look at the memorial. Um, I don't believe that they did have to do that. Um, obviously they saw me zoom in on the security checkpoint. That was nicer, gave a little wave. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. But it looks like there's uh, actually access up the side here, because I've just seen a cyclist go up there. So what I'm going to do is walk up here and see what I can see from up here. <laughs> nice motorbike. Nice bike. Not stopping at the uh, stop sign still there. Police officers only stopped because the car was coming, otherwise they probably wouldn't have either. Oh, so looking off into the distance up here, don't think I'm going to be able to see much because it is quite secure. Like, it's all fenced all the way up there, all the way off into the distance up there. So it's fenced really, really widely around the site. Um, so I'm not going to bother walking all the way up there.
See, he actually stops. Well done, Jeep. And the first person that I've seen stop there, not because of vehicles coming out. Ridiculous. So I've still got plenty of battery to sat nav my way home, um, which is good. Need to get a um, portable charger, really. But yeah, guys, I'm going to cut it there. Um, that was RAF Molesworth, just outside Huntingdon. Um, I've got my body cam. So, if I do get stopped, he'll use it as a helmet cam. So, if I do get stopped by the Rosses at any point, I can turn that on quickly. But I will see you on the next one. Peace. Tell you what, I'm going to do actually, guys, is I'm going to see how far away RAF Alcumbry is from here. And if it's not too far, I'm going to head over there and uh, see if I can report about that officer driving off without taking my complaint. Um, taking my report, so yeah, I categorically told him. He heard me and said, give me two seconds. Um, so yeah, if that's not too far away, guys, I'm gonna head over there and see if I can report that. Yes, guys, so uh, RAF Alconbury wasn't too far away. So I did head on over there. Be sure to tune in on Saturday at midday for part two of this video where I go and visit RAF Alconbury and report or attempt to report the sergeant. And I will see you then.